Fantastic music by itself, it's quite funny, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's basically a musical joke. Uh, and um, then the idea uh, came but to incorporate other arts, which is kind of a mandate of our orchestra to mm -hmm. unite different arts together. Mm -hmm. First part, uh, we have Mendelssohn Symphony for mm -hmm. strings, and we also made a uh, composer competition. Uh, the theme was either carnival or animals, mm. and the winning piece uh, calls uh, wolf and all. Oh, okay. So it's kind of in a, uh, we have a lot of animals with, because I'm also an artist. Mm -hmm. So I did some sketching, and uh, Svetlana Magdisova uh, will do little animation, but a little like vignettes, small mm. things. So the acting, little animation music. Seems a lot of highlights. Yeah. yeah. But I'm curious, uh, who came up with the idea, say, we will perform Carnival of the Animals? Yeah. It's been a while I wanted to do this. Well, we've been friends forever, I think. And I knew what were great pianists uh, before we were all here, now we live all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I thought that would be a good way to unite us here. Yeah. Talking about the piano duo, and you guys have ever worked together? As a in concert, this is the first time. Yeah, oh, so it is the first time. time. Yeah. We're quite excited. Yeah. Yeah. excited yeah. As long as we sit uh, at the piano, we know each other. Yeah. We can sense each other. Because a lot of our audience might not be very clear what the piano duo is. Yeah. So do you guys mind explaining a little bit? No, piano duo is basically with, of course, two pianos mm -hmm. uh, play each other, um, yeah. play with each other. There are uh, two different kinds. Uh, you have yeah. one, one piano for four hands. Oh. And you have a uh, uh, four hands, two pianos. Oh, so this okay. time is gonna be uh, uh, two pianos, four hands. Yeah. Because I'm an outside, I didn't play yeah. piano, so yeah. I don't know if it's more difficult than like some. Uh, for communication, yeah. yes, you you have certain distance uh, for two pianos, because you're facing each other, you have uh, like a couple meters mm. away. But uh, for uh, one piano, four hands, you just sit next, next to each, each other, other yeah. so, so you have m uh, easier, easier communication. I get an opportunity to interview Long Long last yeah. year. He actually said that in China we have a lot of kids who can play very well technically, but they don't really appreciate the music piece. I think all technique is serve the, the musical ideas. Mm. Uh, well, uh, you should base on the, on the different piece and uh, change your technique to play. You used it to be firstly as a violinist mm -hmm. and then you get involved in painting mm -hmm. and later come up with the idea combine the two together. We did uh, what, we, uh, what we called choreographed paintings mm -hmm. on pictures and exhibition of Mussorgsky. Yeah. So I did a set of paintings and then we had somebody who animated them mm -hmm. and uh, ever since I want to do more of these things. What do you guys think about as being an artist? Do I have to be very emotional or together with the rational ideas? Whenever the music requires you to have more emotion, mm -hmm. that uh, you have to bring it out. So, but meanwhile, there's other things how to con how to control the tempo mm -hmm. and uh, re uh, maintain the good quality of the the touch mm -hmm. of the sound. Then you need the rational uh, okay. thinking uh, from your head right. that to control your emotion. I mean, I know that there's some teachers who think what you <laughs> first to learn yeah. technique yeah. and then yes. you have music. For me, that's can nonsense. Can it separate? Yeah. Uh, can it just it separate? cannot be no. because, cannot. of course, maybe sometimes you tune well, for us for strings. You tune or uh, something, but it's little. Uh, ex it's more like an exercise. Mm -hmm. But and with something emotional, of course, there are some people who more emotional on a concert, and they can just create something which we never did before. Mm -hmm. There's others who are more built uh, step by step, and uh, on a concert they more do what they came to. And then again, you play many times, you 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 improve, uh, etc. But I think, but at the same time, it's a little bit split personality. You have to think ahead, you have to think yeah. at the moment, you have to play musically, but you have to kind of uh, think about uh, this. We are very relaxed. 
around artists, and especially I think you didn't travel a lot. <laughs> you are a board traveler. <laughs> and talking about like audience in different countries and areas, do they really have different reactions when they are satisfied? The audience in Montreal are the best. Is it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice. Passionate. Very passionate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so encores all the time. All the time. <laughs> the coldest one is in Germany. Oh yeah. yeah really. Yeah. German. Oh, yeah, very German. German. Yeah. Well, I've heard, I never been myself in Australia, but my parents told yeah. when they played there, what there was like, like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then people came and they said, fantastic concert. Oh, <laughs> 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 really? That's yeah. so, oh, you like? Of course. Yeah. So by looking at the like reactions of audience, yeah. you can also know the cultures of that sure. country. Yeah, especially, yeah. for example, uh, I got experience playing in Japan, yeah. uh, the, the audiences actually uh, pay a lot of attention on perfection. Mm -hmm. And uh, they even have the questionnaire oh. yeah, after the concert to oh, the audiences. Yeah, you have, there's like, do you like the solis today? And do you like the, the program? And do you want to listen to this solis again? Mm -hmm. uh, pressure. pressure. Actually, yeah. this happens also in Taiwan. Oh, yeah. yeah. The same thing, yeah. yeah. In Japan, yeah. is it? Aliato. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that. They are very uh, cautious. Yeah. And it's well, joking. don't don't play round notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the They're very aware of that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. How do you guys think about Liunti's Li mistake? By uh, the in way. Korea? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe a uh, lack of practice. Yeah, yeah, practice is very important. Some program even you know very well mm. that you, if you live there for a couple months, uh, well, even a couple of weeks, then uh, it could be wrong. Somebody who has photographical memory, <laughs> it's a great tool that we can yeah. use. Yeah. And somebody who doesn't, it, it can happen in, in their life. Just because he yeah. played Chopin Contrilla, it's, yeah. it's Everybody very knows. easy. Yeah, and he played over the years, yeah. 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 even the competition, and he made right. such a big, mi mi uh, big mistake. Three of you are artists, and how do you guys keep your inspirations alive? I live in Europe, and mm. I have a lot of chance to, to go to the concert. I, I still go to the concert every two days. Oh. Yeah, and I, I live actually very close to Berlin Farm. So, so I have very yeah, yeah. And sometimes I I get inspired not only from the mu uh, piano music. Mm. I listen to a lot of symphony orchestra concerts and mm. chamber music concert and and mm.